Well, this seems like a nice video, doesn't it? Oh, too bad it's Christian propaganda. Meet Mr. Nice Guy. First name, no more. You think you're nice? This guy is really nice. Well, I try to do what's right. He's so nice that if good people get to heaven, he'll be the first in line. Oh, come on. I reserved that spot, you line cutter. Ah, shucks. So, Mr. Nice Guy, have you kept the Ten Commandments? Pretty much. Do you mind if we take a look at them and maybe see how nice you really are? Uh, okay. I absolutely have no idea how this could go wrong. Great. Here's one. You shall not lie. Does telling your kids about Santa Claus count? Mr. Nice Guy, have you ever told a lie? Well, yeah. Who hasn't? What do you call somebody who tells lies? A uh, politician. A liar. All right. How about another commandment? You shall not steal. Have you ever stolen anything, even once? But what if we're playing baseball? Nope. But you just told me you're a liar. Uh-oh. We've seemed to have fallen into a trap. Let's see if we can disarm it. Well, I, I did steal some candy once when I was a kid. And what do you call someone who steals? A thief. All right, let's try another one. You shall not commit adultery. Oh, that's easy. I'd never cheat on my wife. Hi, handsome. Oh, baby! Well, that's awfully convenient to spawn a strip club like that. I thought it was bad to tempt the innocent into doing something wicked. <clears throat> Jesus said, if you even look at a woman with lust, you've already committed adultery with her in your heart. Now, I got a question there. Does that include drawn women with, like, penises and stuff? Oh, uh, right. One more. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Uh, that's such an archaic law. Probably because it's written on stone, but... Do you think anyone else other than, like, uptight Christians really seem offended when someone uses the word God in vain? Have you ever used God's name to curse? Oh my... That, Mr. Nice Guy, is called blasphemy. Okay, why is God censored in that sentence? Seriously, I just said it. God. God, 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 God. I mean, you can use it on the television and radio and no one would be offended. God gave you life and breath and everything you have, and you've dragged his name through the dirt. Along with probably other people too, but we're just focusing on you right now in this video, Mr. No More Nice Guy. So, by your own admission, you're a liar, a thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart. And that's just for the Ten Commandments. Let's not even talk about the time you actually worked on Sunday. Ugh, don't you know that's the Sabbath? Okay, okay, so I'm not perfect. Well, actually, it's worse than that. Suppose we could put a chip in your brain that would record all your private thoughts for an entire week. I don't know if science can do that yet. And then play those thoughts on a giant movie screen for all your friends and family to see. That would be embarrassing. Oh no, it's just a device they use to torture people in Guantanamo. Yeah, I know. The Bible says God knows everything, even the secret thoughts of your heart. Well, compared to some people, I'm a saint. Yeah, that's true. But the standard is God's law, not other people. Besides, even if you sin just five times a day in one year, that's 1,825 sins. And if you live to be 70 years old, you'll have broken God's law over 127,000 times. You'll have to answer for every sin on Judgment Day when the Bible says each of us will give an account of himself to God. But God will forgive me, right? Well, let's try that in court. Hey, look, I know I keep breaking the law, but hey, catch up. Well, you know, just let it slide. Yep, comparing a simple man with simple mistakes to a criminal. Classy. Only a corrupt judge would buy that.
a good judge would say, Justice demands that you pay for your crimes. God's not a corrupt judge. He's a holy, righteous judge. He hates sin. Well, apart from the time he decided to flood the earth, for no reason, I guess, other than just to mess with people. Jesus warned that on Judgment Day, everyone who had sinned against God would justly end up in a terrible place called hell. And there will be no escape for all eternity. Yeah, it does seem fair to put someone like him in a place where he can burn for eternity. Uh, well, then how can anybody get to heaven? There's only one way. Ooh, ooh I got it, I got it, I got it. Baptism and speaking in tongues. God loved the world so much that he sent his son Jesus to live a perfect life. He never sinned, not even once. Well, technically Jesus is his own dad, because, like, he and God is one, quote-unquote. Not too sure what he means by that, but, eh, prophets will tell you anything. Then, Jesus offered to take the punishment for guilty sinners. He was whipped and beaten and nailed to a cross and died so that justice would be served. And you know what? You should feel bad for him dying and such and feeling pain. Humans are such filthy beings. And sinners could go free. Then Jesus rose from the grave and defeated death. You can't earn eternal life. It's God's gift to everyone who will humble themselves and come to Jesus. He'll forgive you, wash you clean, and give you a new heart. So what you're saying is that because I have this Jesus in my heart, I can do anything I want, no matter how offensive or completely stupid it is. At least that's what I'm getting here. With new desires, the Bible says if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. So stop living for yourself. Everyone's telling me to come to Jesus, but I don't know where that is on my GPS. I check Google Maps and everything. I know that's a terrible joke. Shut up. Turn from your sins and come to Jesus. Then read your Bible and obey it. Find a good church to help you grow. And then go out and tell other people the good news. Are you sure it's good news if, like, I need to be told that I've sinned all my life? Like, maybe I was just born sinned, but I need this Jesus in my life for some reason. Why can't I just be a sinful person and live my life how I wanna? Wow, no wonder this video sucks so much. It's got creationism behind it. Damn you, Kirk Cameron!